hey guys, this is Sim Racing Jewy Side, and I have a track guide. I know it's been a while, but only reason why I'm making this for Texas, even though this is my third Texas video now, the whole new build. You know, you're still running the same lap time, not lap time, same line, but the approach to taking these lines is different. Mainly the fact we have less horsepower and less downforce in the rear, but the less horsepower is the biggest thing here. Mainly being that you gotta roll into the throttle sooner than you would have before. And as that, you can see the lap times are down. Anyways, like, you'll see the lap time I hit. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up while you watch this lap, and then I'll go through the process. As you can see, I got a 29.401, which I'm pretty sure could be down to a 2 if you hit everything right. Which I probably didn't. And anyways, we'll show an exterior cam. And just let that play through. Let me go back a lap. Alright, let this play through. Anyways, for the race, you're probably not going to want to run that hard. You don't want to back that pace down a little, because tires, tires are really important at this track, and I learned that the hard way twice. Anyways, I don't know if you could see during some of these laps, but you're still entering turn one, very similar to what you were before, even though you're approaching the corner about, I don't know, six miles an hour slower than what it used to be. Actually, let me pick a different camera view here. Roll bar. Mm. So the approach to the corner is different than what it was in the past, and we'll just get to that. You still got to hit the line exactly the same way, or else you're going to lose tons of time because it's going to get super tight. So we'll just get to the corner, I guess. And you can see I'm letting off Pretty much right when you get to the Texas sign there. Exactly right when you get to the S here. From the in-car view, that might look different to you, so that's why I'm using an exterior cam, because everyone has a different field of view, I hope. And you can see I'm approaching the corner about 195. And I'm already rolling out of the throttle, so we'll just let this ride down into the corner. You know, we kind of want to make it an early entry, in a way, and keep it down against this line. Now the way the setup is, the car wants to rotate when you get back to the throttle, so start using the throttle to turn the car on corner exit. Going in, it's horrible. Now you can see I'm driving it to the seam here. I should be at least. I'm kind of kind of above it, but you should be right on that seam and for a good launch. And with this setup for the fixed series, which is what these videos are for, and just a general idea to get around the track, coming off the corner, you want to be as straight as you possibly can, or any bit of a wheel coming off that last part of the corner is just going to get loose. So anyways, we head down the back straight right here. And here in three, you can drive it in much further than you can in one. And I don't know how to explain this one. I guess you receive the safer barrier starting, or you want to count by the stars if you want. I don't know, everyone can use their own vantage point. But about the second star on the right side wall is where I'm letting off the throttle. So again, we'll let this roll to the roll into the corner. Okay, I might have picked too much of a slow mo, but anyways, we'll let it roll out. You can see 
Probably by the Dickies logo. I start getting back to the throttle. Okay, after that sign. So let me go back a second. I said it's past the Dickies logo. There. You're just completely out the throttle, and I guess about half a car length to a car length before this star on the right. Again, everyone's view, so try to manage this the best you can from this point of view, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to explain this for everyone. And I guess you start picking up the throttle again. You get it to start rotating, and then you get back to full throttle, and you want to start... I kind of drifted up a little bit to start driving it back down, because there's a bump somewhere around here. You'll probably see it. Anyways, there's a big old bump in the track. I'm guessing where the tunnel is where everyone comes in, but... There's a bump and your car's gonna hit it and wanna wash up, so that's why I take that approach of driving back down the track and then you just power off the corners. You know, this this corner's not as bad. Just turn two in terms of coming off. And that should get you to 29.4. Anyways, it gets you to 29.4. Really not much else to say about this track besides this Texas soil tires. Mostly important thing for this track. And just as I said, hitting turns one marks perfectly. Turns three and four doesn't matter as much, but you still want to hit them right. You know, with the lower horsepower, lower everything, everything's just different. So, it's mainly why I made this video. So, anyways, if you want to, you can click somewhere to the right. There's two boxes to the right. One on the one on the top right will be a video linking you to another, probably the previous track guide to this track. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out later in editing. And the bottom right would probably be a related video of sim racing of some sort. Anyways, this has been Sim Racing Chewy Side. Hope you click that subscribe button and yeah.